Chewbacca himself, Jonas Suetamo, is here. It's right there. Are you sure I'm in frame? Yes, we're sure you're in frame. Don't tell us how to do our job, We dude. do this every week, man. This is the Star Wars Show. From the Lucasfilm headquarters in San Francisco, here's your hosts, Andy and Anthony. Hello and welcome to the Star Wars Show, a show whose ceiling needed to be temporarily raised to accommodate a guest. Yeah, see, we're both kind of Ewok height, less than Wookiee height. But now we are equipped to handle all sorts of giant humans in here. Yeah, our animals. Yeah, there's nothing in the rule book that says a giraffe can't be on the Star Wars show. Ooh, we have a rule book now. Yeah, it's the Air Bud rule book. And there's nothing that says a dog can't play basketball and a giraffe can't host a Star Wars show. Let's go to the news. On Monday, Star Wars Forces of Destiny returned with eight brand new shorts. The new shorts feature stories from every era and include the voices of Mark Hamill, Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Lupita Nyong'o, uh, Kelly Marie Tran, Tia Surkar, Ashley Eckstein, Vanessa Marshall, and more. We're playing. Go on without me. You can watch the new series of shorts right now on youtube.com slash Disney or check them all out back to back to back on the Disney Channel this Sunday at 9.50 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. I don't know where I left my inhaler. Speaking <laughs> of Disney, if you were hyped for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge after seeing the drone footage on the Disney Parks Channel, you should probably get similarly hyped for an upcoming event at Disneyland. On May 3rd, Disneyland will be throwing a brand new version of its Disneyland After Dark series of events with a Star Wars themed event called Star Wars Night. It's night, N-I-T-E. There's no G or H because it's, it's cool. It's retro. Yeah. So, spelling aside, the park will be filled with new and returning Star Wars experiences like March of the First Order, where Phasma leads a squad of First Order stormtroopers through Tomorrowland, as well as Rey debuting in the Star Wars launch bay, other photo ops, and Star Wars themed food and decorations. Oh, and Hyperspace Mountain, yeah. the Star Wars themed overlay for Space Mountain, is returning for Star Wars Night and throughout the month of May. We rode that nine <laughs> times in a row. Tickets are on sale for Disneyland Resort pass holders on March 27th, with general public sales following on March 29th. Additionally, tickets for Star Wars Galactic Nights, the May 27th After Hours event at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Orlando, are on sale right now. For more information and tickets, check out Disneyland.com or DisneyWorld.com slash Galactic Nights. If you're looking for some musical accompaniment for your pending May the 4th celebrations, you'll be pleased to learn that the first six original motion picture soundtracks for the Star Wars saga will be re-released on May 4th. The John Williams composed scores have all been remastered and featured new artwork and a collectible mini poster. More details can be found right now on StarWars.com, GDC, or the Game Developers Conference, for those not hip to the acronyms, is currently underway in San Francisco. I always say that you're very hip to acronyms. Thank you. And Epic Games, in collaboration with ILM XLab and NVIDIA, revealed a real-time ray tracing demo featuring a couple of sassy First Order troopers and Captain Phasma, and all of it is 100% CG rendered in real time in Unreal Engine 4. In English, that means it'll look really, really awesome. Check it out. Just watching the Star Wars show. What's the story with all the elevators lately? I heard Kylo Ren destroyed the one over in D Sector. If you ask me, who's ever in charge of this place should be transferred to Hoth. Not only is Jonas Suetamo here, but we are wearing matching sweaters for the occasion. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, of course. This has got to be exciting. We are getting very close to Solo now. Yeah, I uh, can't uh, wait. It's, uh, it's coming so quickly and yeah. uh, uh, it couldn't come soon enough for me. You're old hat at this now, though. This is three times now. You're just like, oh, another Star War, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I've been in three Star Wars films, but I gotta say, I never, ever get tired of it. It's been a magnificent ride and uh, I can't wait for, uh, for this one. You obviously started with The Force Awakens, working very closely with Peter Mayhew. And I have to wonder, when you're working with somebody who has played the character for so long and originated the character, was there anything Peter told you when you started playing Chewbacca that you were like, oh, I never thought of that, or I never saw Chewbacca that way. We had a week's worth of a Wookiee boot camp where we went over all of these movements. All and, I want to uh, do is go to Wookiee boot camp. Yeah, <laughs> and you will. 
I, I assure you. But yeah, we went over how Chewbacca moves and what's his outlook on life and his uh, best childhood memories. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> or did we? No. <laughs> and uh, yeah, really, it was helpful for me to learn from his perspective what it was. And he was so good about it. I've never met a more gracious man yeah, to, to give me this gift. This movie kind of throws yet another curveball at you because now we are going back to sort of the beginning of this whole story. Yeah, I went into it with fresh eyes and it was so fulfilling to get to see how this story got its start and to see how Alden embraced becoming Han Solo, which and he was great in it. I gotta tell you, it was, it was a lot of fun because you had to ask yourself a lot of questions. How does this thing get its start? What are the relationships and the dynamics when they meet each other and what happens? For that, I'm sorry I can't tell you anymore. <laughs> but yeah, to me, Chewie has always been a very task-oriented character, you know? Yeah. He doesn't carry any ego. He doesn't let that define him. So he's very loyal to his friends and that shows in his actions. Really, I wanted to take you through the Wookiee things, how the Wookiee boot camp works. Sure, I've got a do, week. Do you have a time? I'll head, I'll, I'll head to Finland. We'll yeah. do this together or, oh, we'll just do it now. That's we'll fine. Just do it we'll now. do it now. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, <laughs> first of all, Wookiees have a very good posture. Okay. So you gotta bring I'm your, already out. Yeah. <laughs> and then you gotta really... Um, I'm already seeing, like, yeah, it's so great, yeah. like, I'm already seeing the way you carry your head. Yeah. And then you gotta relax your arms. Okay. Your dexterity is not your defining thing. Okay. So you just gotta smack everything, you know, smack those buttons on the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. But relax your arm and do it. Yep. And then you're looking, your neck's okay. kind of stiff because you're a Wookiee. Yeah. And then you gotta just look around, you gotta turn your whole torso. So I'm trying not to turn the neck. After you've done this for two weeks, yeah. uh, <laughs> then you start to incorporate voices into it. Okay. So you're... I'll drink this coffee. <laughs> So wait, so as part as part of getting into character, yeah. you were saying normal things in a Chewbacca voice, this like is, around the house. This is how I prepare, man. How long did you do that and what did your family think? Well, they've always thought I was crazy, <laughs> uh, so it, it wasn't much of a leap. I call that Wookiee English uh, and, I, and I sometimes do that on, on set. I, d I don't want to just speak with my normal voice. So right. With Alden, I was often speaking Wookiee English. And that was... Well, Jonas, thank you so much for coming by, man. I am so excited. It is right around the corner now. May 25th. We will see you there, man. Thanks thank for coming by. Thank you so by. much. Thanks for having me. Last week, we asked you to show us your BB-8 impressions and you did not disappoint. Fernando gave us the infamous BB-8 fire salute, Bo beeped from behind a toy, and Chandler McCormick sent in a video of his dead-on impression. But the clear front runner for cutest BB fake was at Sammy Mini Cosplay, or BB Skate as we know her at conventions, getting captured in nets, peeking out from behind a wall, being trailed by her mother dressed as Brian Herring, yeah! and even trading in her skates for a mermaid's tail. Thanks to everyone who submitted, and as always, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and download the Star Wars app. Thanks for watching, may the force be with you. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, returned it. This is what you get for pushing us too hard. Can't you see? She's given all she has. Can't you ever just be happy?